Straight Talk Africa. The call-in aspect of the show is great because it gives people in Africa a chance to call in and voice their opinion. 202-619-3111. We get more and more calls every week. People calling in from Paris. We had someone calling from Australia. You know, people were all over the world were listening. Good evening, Malema. You are going to open the You are going to open the I'm making them accountable. When they call, they know that they are connecting directly with Shaka. This is uh, Mulek Wazi Hindula from uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Yes, please. I'm hearing you. Go ahead. I'm profoundly honored and exceedingly humbled to have the opportunity to host you on Straight Talk Africa. Get better, not better. Shaka-isms are these expressions that Shaka Sali is notorious for. In every show, he has a handful of things that he says. I have to go for a break. There's no democracy in Studio 51. <laughs> the man with the clinic. The good doctor. Shaka has several Shaka-isms. And I say this from the deepest, better part of the bottom of my heart and soul. I am profoundly honored and exceedingly humbled for your compliments, sir. Others come and say, profoundly honored. And then, of course, I would say, exceedingly humbled. <laughs> Traveling with Shaka Sali in Africa is like traveling with a rock star. The doors opening, he walks in, and there are scores of people. It's impossible for people to understand how big and how popular Shaka is in Africa. What specific mechanisms have you put in place to curb corruption? Ten years has gone by very fast. When I look at what has made the program so popular, then and now, it is that one thing, Shaka Sali. I think uh, it speaks to uh, the professionalism of uh, the hosts, the producers, the kind of research that is done uh, behind the scenes. Did you want me to put Africa crash? The quality of uh, packages that we produce speaks to why uh, this show has been able to last uh, for the last uh, 10 years. 10 years in television is a long time. The first 10 years really got us established and um, we're just going to fly from there. And please remember to keep the African hope alive.